ओम ब्रह्मानंदम परम सुखदम केवल ज्ञान मूर्ति द्वंदातीत त्रिगुण रहित तस्मस्यादि लक्ष्यम एक विमल मचल सर्वधी साक्षिहुत भावातीत गगन सदृश सदगुर तम नमा इट इज दर्थ स्टेजा ऑफ चैप्टर सेवन इट इज डिस्क्राइबिंग द ओमनी प्रेजेंस ऑफ सच्चिदानंद परमात्मा रस अहम अपसुकोन्तेय प्रभा अस्मी शशि सूर्य प्रणव सर्व वेदेशु शब्द खे पौरुषम नशु रस इट मीन्स लिक्विडिटी अपसु इन द बाटर कौंतेय इट मीन्स द सन ऑफ कुंती अहम इट मीन्स आई प्रभा इट मीन्स लाइट अस्मी इट मीन्स आई एम शशि सूर्य यो इट मीन्स मून एंड सन प्रणव इट मीन्स ओंकार सर्व वेदेशु इट मीन्स इन ऑल नॉल इन ऑल द नॉलेज शब्द इट मीन्स साउंड खे इट मीन्स इन स्काय पौरुषम इट मीन्स दावर ऑफ ए पर्सन एंड द पोटेंशलिटी ऑफ ए मैन ब्रश नशु इट मीन्स इन मैन Krishna is saying, my dear Arjuna, I am liquidity in the water, and uh, I am the light in moon and sun. I am the onkar in all knowledgeable. knowledge of spirituality i am the sound in the sky am i am the powerfulness of potentiality in the man the sachidananda parmatma krishna which is the master of uncountable millions of galaxy and only base and installation of all universes telling about his omnipresence and giving the examples of worldly things the sachidananda parmatma is telling firstly about the water the parmatma is telling my dear arjuna i am the li- li- liquidity of the water it is a broad spectrum of the meaning in this words not it is too easy and not it is too short everybody knows the water is the one of the base of the life everybody knows the water is main contain of all the living beings everybody knows only water can flow ice can not flow and uh, vapors cannot flow like the water everybody knows that water is the waste solvent of the world and the scientist and student of science knows the water presents in the micro organization of the life if you read the 
if you read the books of biology, there is a book of cytology. The cytology, embryology and evolution, that these three topics, this, these three subjects can easily describe the importance of the liquidity of the water and God's word is scientific. It is proved that the word of Krishna is the scientific truth, but it is more than scientific. I will try to explain you. Everybody knows that every cell containing a nucleus and nucleus having the nucleoplasm. The nucleoplasm never be made without water and the nucleoplasm is the brain of the cell and the basic controller of the life. So nucleoplasm and endocrine, endocular reticulum and all the Galgi bodies and the cytoplasm and the lysosome and the protein and lipid structures, they are all joined by the molecules of the water. So, this is the joining power of the water is called Rasaha. Everybody knows that water is only a matter. But in the sensibility of this matter, water do not know that it is water. But when this water used by a living being, the living beings feel the saturation of its thrust. The living being feel a special pleasure if he do not get water from long time and he get the water, he feels a special type of satisfaction. Nobody can give that satisfaction without water. If a person is very thirsty, he is in the desert, he is near to die, and you want to give the money to that person, he will say, no, I do not need money, I need water. If one glass of water is the most precious for that person, he can give you all the treasure in the cost of one glass of water. A person is dying in the thrust, in the, in the desert. If you ask him what is the cost of one glass of water, he will be say, you can take my all the wealth and give me one glass of water. I want to save my life, I am dying. Now put this example. Put this example in the life, in the spiritualism. You are very thirsty from millions of birth. You have never get the real divine love. But you are searching that divine love, this water of love, from different type of your mothers, sisters, your wives, your brothers, your fathers, Millions fathers came in your life and millions mothers came in your life and millions wives came in your life but you are not satisfied. Because you are not satisfied then you hope next birth I can be satisfied then you take worth to worth, worth to worth. But there is only, only way of satisfaction that is the jnana and that jnana and the prema and the love comes together like the light and the sun and who is the source of this jnana 
and who is the source of ultimate divine love which can satisfy you your thirst of love from millions of year, millions of birth that is the great master sadguru only love of sadguru can satisfy your hunger so the upanishad says raso vaishya so upanishad says raso vaishya the pleasantness the ananda who can feel this ananda who can know this ananda your intestine your stomach your throat your tongue it not feel that ananda these are only apparatus these are only instrument the god sachidanand sitting in you and he feel that ananda that then you feel the ananda so that is called rasa so that is called rasa raso vaishya in the upanishads my dear friends this is the declaration and explanation and invention and showing the ultimate knowledge of spirituality by this stanza as these words ras aham apsu kon deya everybody knows that water is the origin of the life and this thing is proved by the evolution theory the water is the cradle of evolution everybody knows that single cellular cellular organ organ uh, organism comes in the water and the religious persons knows that vishnu is laying on the water on the sheshnaga so this all the knowledge of evolution all the knowledge of psychology it first comes millions year ago in india and ravat hook and other scientist they invent now in the 18th and 19th century bc is uh, bc oh, sorry ac but our our rishi munis they are already written the more than higher knowledge now you invented so they put this knowledge in the examples lord vishnu is laying on chir sagar on sheshnaga there is water and water and water the brahma is come by the lotus flower lotus flower not present in the desert in the sand always lotus flower present in the water so these words is a very miraculous and very having the secrets of his spirituality the god is saying that rasa aham appu apsu my dear friend arjuna i am the rasa in the water i am the liquidity and satisfactory and originality and base of origin of in the water but nobody knows water knows do not knows the water dead body knows do not knows the water who knows the water which person is alive he can know the water and effect of water and the pleasantness of water and satisfaction to drinking after the water then please see inside the knower of this rasa knower of this satisfaction knower of this effect knower of this originality the function of the water who is knowing that is your sachidananda parmatma living in you 
So now the knowing is importance. Knowing is important. The God is standing behind, behind that satisfaction. Only He knows your satisfaction. Your knowing why intellect or knowing your why senses, this is the incomplete knowing, not a totality of knowing. The totality of knowing is the knowing to know, knowing to know. Now, the Satchidananda Paramatma Sri Krishna saying, Kaunteya. Why he is not saying Arjuna? What the, he is not using word Dhananjaya? Why he is not using word Gudakesha? Why he is not go, um, using word Paramtapa? Why he is not using word Mahabaho? Why he is using only single word here, Konteya? It is very secret and meaningful word. It is indicating the name of Arjun's mother. Now, this word is indicating about the embryology. Everybody knows in the mother's womb, when the particle of the man and woman, they meet in the fertilization process, and there is a, the gastrula and blastula and morula, and there is the blastocele and gastrocele, and there is a development like a, like a, um, in the primitive stage, like a multicellular ball, the development start from two type of cells, macro and micro, and they after then, in this all process, that is structure of the bulb, gastrula and blastula, covered by the water. You know, if you do not know, see the embryology. And the cover water sheet in the in the water sheet in the fluid of the water. The embryo developed like a fish. So your sciences say the the uh, evolution is start in by the unicellular animal to multicellular animal animal, and then the it is uh, uh, become the uh, like the Volvex and it is like the the colonial animal and which is the combined more cells like the hydella and the like uh, the uh, other uh, animal uh, primitive animal there is no differentiation of chordate or non chordates then after some development, after some division of the cells, the structure made like a fish. And the structure is changed. Fish, fish to amphibian, there is a tail like a frog. And the amphibians change into the like a reptile. And then after he becomes the mammal. So all development of this embryology is indicating this word Konteya because the Krishna is remembering to the Arjuna you are Konteya, you comes from your mother's womb and the water is related with mother's womb very closely. So everyone should be respect his mother because the mother is the cradle of evolution. So water is cradle of evolution. My dear friend, it is a broad subject in very big spectrum. But in the short, I describe this, these four words. 
then the God Krishna is saying Prabha Asmi Shasti Surya. Now, my master is telling sometime, in the shadow of the sun light, I was in this, I was do not understand at that time what is telling my master, but now I understand. The God is the lights of the light. The outer light is not light, that inner light is the light, so we say the Atma Sakshatkara enlightenment. Prabha Shashi Surya. Now you can say that the moon and the sun, they have the different type of the inflorescence, in, uh, different type of the shining. Moon has no his shining power, but sun has his shining power. The sun is the master and moon is the disciple. If we take this example, and what is the sun? Everybody knows in the core of the sun there is the fusion reaction of the nuclear signs they are done. Two hydrogen, uh, two hydrogen atoms, they fuse together and make helium. And in this process, the unlimited energy release. So, who made this process in the sun? And who is behind this process? And how it is possible that so much larger quantity helium and hydrogen Hydrogen is fusing and making helium and the millions of years this process is going on and the fuel is not finished. Scientists say after some time the sun will be, become cold but they are like ant. The millions of years gone they do not know about the secret of the sun. The secret of the sun only knows the Satchitananda Paramatma because he has the millions and billions of sun like this. But in your earth you can only see one sun, so God is explaining in the medium of the sun, is one to telling something more. that sun reflect in the moon, so the master reflect in the disciple. And who is the knower of the sun and moon? In you, if there is no consciousness, if there is no life, if there is no presence of existence in you, you never know which is sun and which is moon. You cannot know. So my dear friends, the God Satchidanand is indicating inside of you that is the capability of knowing which is sun and which is moon. When you will be know that knower? I want to tell, I remember when I was in the Nath Sampradaya, Bhekabara Pantha I Pantha Yogi. Then I fortunately I read the yoga, the Gorakhabani. And the secret of the yoga in that book, Gorakhabani. And there is a there is an example or real fact. Your body has containing three things. One is the sun nerve, Surya Nadi, and second is the Chandra Nadi, and they are known by your breathing time to time. But 
the surya nadi and the chandra nadi they are only your worldly expression because when when the surya nadi is going on you must do some work and when the chandra nadi nadi going on you have rest you must have rest it is the all sura vigyana also in the hindu mythology but there is a secret that is shushumna nadi the surya nadi and the chandra nadi when moving equality that the sushumna nadi and when the sushumna nadi is in his form or moving you must do the meditation this is swara vigyana so the lord krishna is giving the outer indication and inner indication too lord krishna is telling that i am the prabha prabha it means the shining and the knowing and the it keen experiment experience or about your surya nadi and the chandra nadi and shushumna nadi but if you can see the sun or the moon by your eyes but who is seeing the sun and moon by your eyes your eyes cannot see because the dead person has also eyes but the dead person cannot see by the eyes so who is seeing behind this eyes so krishna is indicating you know that knower which is knowing in the instrument of the eyes he is the make he is the seeing behind the eyes so my dear friend now the krishna is telling another thing pranava sarva vedeshu my dear rigveda yajurveda samveda atharveda upanishads Surti, Ismati, Brahmana, all the holy books. These are not only the real knowledge. Veda means knowing. Veda means knowledge. The word is never can be knowledge. If I put a word on a paper, and I put. the different type of food intercontinental continental salad sweet and i give you that list you cannot be fulfill your hunger by the list so the word is like a list but real veda is the knowing yourself without knowing you can not satisfy without knowing your hunger will not fulfill without knowing you never know that which is the light and which is the water and which is the photon or which is the quantum so all the shining comes by the knowing of the god sab kar param prakashak joy so the person who is worship the sun or moon and the person person who is the reading the books and person who is the chanting the mantra and doing the karma kanda they do not know that they are not going in the path of knowing they are only catching the words and they are befooling themselves if you want to know yourself if you want to stand in atma sakshatkara you must be do the meditation of awareness and know the knower living in you so the pranava pranava is the indicator of the big bang sound the primitive sound big bang 
the firstly when we do in India any PCS or any holy work we blow the Shankha Shankha Dhwani you hear the Shankha Dhwani with the carefully there is a there is comes one word Om Om means three words O U and Mo O means that U means M Hu Ma it means I I am the presence of the God it is the meaning of Om you believe or not believe this pranava this Oma is very important. I can speak on the Oma several hours on only on Oma. In my knowledge, in my seeing, you can believe or not believe, Om is the map of all galaxies. All galaxies is oriented in the shape of Om. And Om is the first sound comes from Satchidananda Paramatma. So if this is the tradition in India, when we start any mantra, in the beginning of mantra we say Om. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Gangadpati Nama. Every mantra never start without Om. It is the research of our Rishi and Munis. So I want to say, you believe or not believe, the Om is the map of all galaxies orientation. Only the Super enlightenment person, enlightened person can see this secret. Excuse me, you will not believe I know. So, one thing is I remember. Often the jnanis, they are elegate, allegation on jnanis that they are egoistic person. They are ahankari. Because the every agyani, every blind person is only know the ahankara. He know, do not know the God existence. But when the jnani says in the full swing of his jnana, he declares that they are Brahma. So this is the last declaration and person think that the jnani is the proudy, jnani is the egoistic, they are befooling. Because the blind person do not see the beautiful woman. The blind person do not see the beautiful flower. The beauty of a jnani only can a seeker, can see a seeker, not can see other. So my dear friends, you believe or not believe, the Om, Om is the Pranava, is the basic root of all knowing. It is only not a word. It is not only sound. It is not only the shape of three curves. No. It is the representation of existence. It is the root of existing knowers and knowing and all knowing Brahma. So my dear friend, the next word after the Om, because Om comes, then the words comes. The Om comes, then all languages comes. The Om comes, and the one is the voice came, the para, the pashanti, the madhyama, the bakri. All one is come by the om. So the Bhagwan is saying that khe, in the sky I am the bird. In the sky I am the bird. If you are do not know the God and you know the many many bird and books, there is nothing. 
Because who is made these words? Your words is made by your society and humans. If you may, if you say the elephant, give the name elephant like S, so elephant will not like S. And you say uh, S donkey like elephant, the all donkey they are they will be known by the name of elephant. So word is given. Is your name is Ramla, but nothing in you as a Ram or nothing as in you as a Lal because you do not know the Ram and you are not a Lal. So the word is the discovery of your society. But this word is not word. The God is beyond all words. God is beyond the all, all the sounds. Now, the Krishna is indicating you which knows the word. But word do not know that thing who is knowing the word. So you should be. Take your journey towards the knower. Knower of the word. And in this example of word, Krishna is giving all five sensory tanmatras, shabda, isparsa, rupa, rasa, gandha, all. All things he, he want to put in a small capsule here. So, the Paramatma is telling that the sky or the atmosphere, in the atmosphere, which is you listening the word, the behind us listening, I am there. The dead body cannot listen. But who is listening in you? Who is standing behind all the listenings? So my dear friend, he is saying the last word about that Purusham Nishu. I am the I am the all power, all mighty, all the manly mess. I am not uh, uh, criticizing the mother uh, power, our mother uh, Matra Shakti, but I am telling that uh, when you awoke in the Atma, there is no sex, no man, not woman. Because the ultimate knowing is not can differentiation by your worldly different difference scales. So the Purush is the representation of the existence. So our Upanishadas, our Vedas, our Shruti, our Ismati is tells for them that Paramatma is the Purush, Paramatma is the man. But this is not man like this, two hands, two feet, two eyes, two ear. No. The, you have put the man, if you, if you put the name man for woman, now the woman is called man and man called woman. All birds is made by you. Who made the river bird? Who made the sun bird? Who made the moon bird? Who made the man bird? Who made the woman bird? That is not made by God. That is made by you. So, the indication of this word that Purusham Nishu, it indicate the enthusiasm, the powerfulness, the potentiality the very strong concrete decision that I will be aware in the God existence. I will not come again in the illusion of the Maya that is called the madness. That is called the man. That is called the Purushatva. So my dear friend, I am praying to the God that you should get this highest concrete decision and concrete sankalpa and concrete 
and strong aim of their life that you will enlighten, you will get Atma Sakshatkara, you will know yourself inside of you that is the knower of the, your Jala, he is knower of your light, he is the knower of your viscosity of the butter, he is the knower of all knowledge, he is the knower of your senses, he is the knower of all knowledge comes from existence. He is the knower of all your words. He is the knower of all inside energy of your like a powerfulness, real man. Thank you very much, my dear friends. It is my prayer that you will evoke in your existence. That is the Param Purush. Thank you.